Hi, I'm Davina with ForkingPlate.com and today we're gonna to show you how to make almond crusted chicken fingers at home. So for this recipe, you are going to need some almond flour or almond meal, which is basically ground up almonds. You wanna get some chicken, obviously, some eggs, and then uh, we have a spice mix here that we've kind of made to spice this up to make it taste better. You can get the chicken tenders at the store already cut, but if you don't have them already cut, you can just cut up some chicken breasts into the sizes that you want. And we're gonna take some spice mix here. And I've just put cayenne pepper, salt, um, black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, basically, and just threw it in here. And I'm gonna just put it into the almond meal, just to kind of give it some flavor. To do this, just mix it all up. Just wanna kind of just get it all in there, because the almond meal doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, so it's better to kind of add your own spices. You can add anything you want, curry powder, or whatever. Okay. So we're gonna just bread these and we're gonna put them in egg first and you wanna use your other hand. So you want a dry hand and a wet hand so you don't screw this up here. You're gonna throw this in the almond flour and then you're gonna just coat it with your dry hand. They are gluten-free and paleo, which is awesome. So you don't have to feel guilty about eating these. And uh, we're gonna bake them instead of frying them, which also makes them healthier. We're just gonna keep going and breading all of our chicken fingers. So we've coated all of our chicken fingers and we are going to bake this at 325 for like 20 to 30 minutes until they're cooked entirely and completely through. Boom! So while your chicken is cooking guys, just make some sauces. So we're gonna make some honey mustard. So I have some stone ground mustard here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of mayo and some honey. A lot of honey. All right, so when they're done, just put them with whatever dipping sauces you guys want and enjoy these healthy chicken fingers. Let's go. So if you guys like this recipe, please thumbs up it or share it with your friends so other people can eat these awesome chicken fingers. If not, uh, don't do anything. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.